What's up everybody, GameSpine here and welcome to my review of Val Ferris. Set in a far corner of space, Val Ferris is a heavy metal infused 2D action platformer from publisher Big Sugar and developer Steel Mantis. They are the team behind Unity Awards finalist Slain, Back From Hell. After mysteriously vanishing from galactic charts, the fortress of Val Ferris has suddenly reappeared in the orbit of a dying sun. Once a self-contained paradise, the magnificent citadel now plays host to an ever-growing darkness. You play as Therion, the fearless and proud son of Vrol, who returns home to uncover the truth of its doomed fate and to challenge the arcane evil at its very heart. The gameplay and graphics are consistently smooth, responsive and beautiful, regardless of what machine you play it on. You will be dismembering thousands of monsters along your journey. From the weird, to the grotesque, and even some that are just grotesquely weird. Each enemy is hand animated, and each has a unique level of creativity, bolstered by distinctive fighting styles. But this is a good thing, because the game throws a lot of enemies at the player. At your disposal are flamethrowers, laser beams, shotguns, rocket launchers, energy swords, tentacle weapons, a gun that shoots gold skulls and a, a heavy cannon called the Envoy of Destruction. The levels are incredibly varied and precise and there is a very apparent amount of polish that endures the length of the game. Certain levels have a distinct sense of verticality requiring precise jumps on moving platforms. Uh, others feature on-rail shooting that will force Therion to rely on his ranged weapons. Uh, luckily, pinpoint hitboxes and variable stunning backgrounds keep these platforming sections fresh. Uh, while it may occasionally prove difficult to distinguish characters from the detailed backgrounds, the game never made me feel like I had died unfairly. Uh, boss battles are scattered generously along your path and are some of the strongest points of the game. These battles provide crushingly difficult challenges that punish the player for even the slightest of missteps. The game also has a fantastic metal soundtrack created by extreme metal artist uh, Kurt Victor Bryant, uh, who was part of the formative Swedish extreme metal band Celtic Frost. Almost every monster explodes in a shower of body parts and projectiles buzz with energy and blue lightning. I'm also very impressed with how much detail the team at Steel Mantis has put into the pixel art. Val Ferris does an excellent job of paying homage to games like Castlevania, Blackthorn and Contra to name a few, but still feeling distinctly modern. So it's a great combination of various elements in my opinion, well worth the time and effort. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of Val Ferris in the comment section down below. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.